Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, it's been a little bit, but uh, my name is Brian Rodriguez. I'm the owner and operator of Certified Best Welding Solutions out of Bernie, Texas. And today, I'm gonna have a, a different uh, video or it's a kind of a tool review uh, slash product uh, placement. Um, this is a Stronghold toolbox. Now, this is not just any toolbox. This is um, like an 800 pound uh, toolbox made in the USA and they even customized a little bit. Uh, so how this whole relationship kind of started with them is I DM'd them on uh, Instagram and I was like, hey, I really like your product, you know, uh, what would it take for me to get something like that? And so, you know, we went back and forth, kind of worked and talked about what would be best for my application. And this is kind of what we ended up with. And so here you can see we have it's basically it's a I can't remember the exact model at the at the moment I'll put it in the description below but um, it's a mobile workstation and so right now I have it set up as a computer station so I have or the top at least I have the CNC computer the monitor and then I have the CNC machine itself right over here and so this provides me a good area to have my cables uh, talk to that. This, I have a nice uh, top right here. And then one of my main things is I wanted it to be able to have the consumables right next to this. So I'm not having to go anywhere else in the shop. It's right here. Uh, I can even lock if I need to, because we all know consumables are very expensive. And here, as uh, you can see, they put nice uh, vinyl sticker logo on there. Um, we have some, I mean, even the welds are very good on uh, this product. I mean, you know, we look, they de splattered everything. Uh, this is a paint on this one. They can do paint and powder coat depending on the color. Um, I mean, look at these, w these casters. I mean, they are, I mean, everything on this is just heavy duty. This locking mechanism, I mean, look how thick that is. So now if we go and we open it, I mean, first thing off the bat is just, like, look at this. Look how well made this is. I mean, very. I was very impressed when I first uh, got this upon delivery. And I mean, so now, as you can see, we have drawers. This is probably one of the most things I was excited for is, you know, a lot of people don't like drawers. They say that's where things go to die, but honestly, I love them. I, I, I try and have them on a lot of stuff. And so, because it's just, uh, especially in a metal shop, when you, there's sparks flying all the time, there's dust, the grinding dust, everything just gets dirty. Uh, it, you know, stuff can get um, messed up pretty easily with uh, sparks hitting it. And so, I really like the concept of having drawers uh, for stuff to keeping it, um, you know, secure and not getting damaged. So. One of the things that you know Sean can do is when you work with them, they, they can customize stuff. And so, um, and one thing I said, well, you know, I would really like to have some dividers in some of the drawers. And so they said, well, that's not a problem. So I don't have this fully set up yet, but uh, I plan to. And you know, it's kind of work in progress to kind of see what I need to go where, and kind of build off from there. So right now, this is going to become kind of general hardware storage over here. Um, this drawer over here. Is going to be right now. I only have the consumables that came with the machine, but this is going to be fully stocked with um, consumables for this plasma, as well as some of my uh, other machines. And then below that, on both sides right here, we have larger dividers. I don't have anything currently in these, but uh, that's what those are for. I mean, I'll kind of go through here, show you kind of how it's set up. I uh, have some Hilti tools in this one. Gives you kind of an, an idea what you can put in these drawers. Uh, once again, just some miscellaneous tools right now. Overflow from other toolboxes where I'm uh, getting full. You know, that's kind of another purpose is, you know, just have getting more storage. Uh, we'll get some grease, grease gun for the new machine. Uh, keep that right next to it. Empty drawer. Uh, we got some uh, Stabila digital level. We got Stabila laser. Um, you know, more to come there. A quarter band, and then we got some other miscellaneous Milwaukee tools. 
as you can see there are footsteps in this which means I stood in this no problem and didn't tip over drawers didn't get bent slides didn't get jacked up I mean it's very very well built uh, very good quality I mean I you can I can be more impressed with the quality of this uh, box um, I mean honestly I would say if you're looking there keep in mind these are not cheap boxes by any means um, they're right up there with some of the higher end toolboxes. I have multiple Milwaukee boxes and these do not even compare. I have some of the more expensive Milwaukee boxes with the stainless steel top on them. The drawers on this, the thickness of the steel doesn't even come close to the Milwaukee boxes. Um, I'm a Milwaukee fan, uh, pretty hardcore, and i uh, pretty disappointed with the Milwaukee toolboxes to be honest with you. The drawer slides stop working or they get jacked up really very easily. Um, just doesn't compare to this at all. I mean, these doors are solid. Like I said, made in the USA. Um, like just, every time somebody comes to the shop and they see it, they're like, dang, that is a nice box. And, um, you know, nothing but good things to say about it. You know, we have this nice lid that comes around the edge. And one of the other things is, you know this is what I have it planned for right now but you know um, it could easily be used on if I'm on a larger job site and I kind of need a mobile workstation to kind of keep there keep stuff in I can lock stuff up drawers I got plenty of room I can use the top of this table uh, you know for looking at plans or going you know having a computer on site it would make a really good on-site uh, desk slash work table so and you could definitely beat on it so that's kind of a brief little overview of the Stronghold uh, mobile workstation. If you want to see more vi uh, videos or snippets of it or pictures of it fully loaded, uh, you, you can always check me out on uh, Instagram at CB uh, Welding Solutions there. Uh, link will be in the description as well for that. But uh, you know, you can kind of follow along. You I'll post updated pictures of this, but I just kind of want to do a quick overview of uh, this box and how I kind of use it. In, uh, Kind of my, my first impressions kind of thing like that i definitely will probably be, be doing another video uh later on kind of uh down the road um how it's gone how i like it is it holding up stuff like that i don't have any doubt in my mind that it'll be just as good as new uh but i'll be sure to do that so uh thanks for watching have a good day and uh catch you on the next one